positive effects of flooding. Floods occur along every river and coastal area. Flood waters can carry nutrient-rich sediments which contribute to a fertile environment for vegetation. Floodplains are beneficial for wildlife by creating a variety of habitats for fish and other animals. Floodplains are important because of storage and conveyance, protection of water quality, and recharge of groundwater. Floods offer variable river flows and are an intermittent source of fresh water supply, filling natural depressions and recharging groundwater. Inundation of the floodplains helps recharge the groundwater. Floods contribute nutrients to the sea. Small organisms such as plankton feed on them and multiply, so, they support higher aquatic food webs including humans. Floods make the soil fruitful, as the water recedes. Fine sand, clay, silt, and organic debris are left behind. Floodplains are among the world's most productive agricultural regions, and many crops, including rice, may be grown in the flooded soil. Half of the world's population consumes rice as a staple food typically grown on paddy fields by Asian communities. Floods can recharge groundwater supplies, where the land is permeable, it infiltrates the ground through aquifers, loose rocks and sediment, floods balance the health of wetlands, it maintains the chemical balance, restore breeding grounds and increase biodiversity stock. Floods help to restore the chemical balance, the marshes are the natural sponges in our environment, they help to capture and store pollutants that undergo various physical and chemical changes. Floods restore breeding grounds, and wetlands are important breeding sites for many creatures like fish, shrimps and crabs. A number of organisms depend on wetlands to spawn and grow. Floods bring more nutrients, more food that is available for juveniles to develop and grow. The rich diversity of creatures, insects, clams, fish, in marshes feed on the excess nutrients, they grow and multiply thus becoming food for other organisms like birds, salamanders, and turtles. The power of the floodwaters rushing can move items that obstruct rivers and estuaries, debris like branches, logs, and boulders frequently impeded river water flow, they can completely obstruct water flow which can cause droughts downstream. Deltas develop when sediment builds up across rivers faster than the sea can remove. Deltas are strengthened by sediment that is dumped on them as floodwaters hit estuaries. More flood water recharges groundwater resources. Aquifers allow water to seep into the earth when the terrain is porous. Loose rocks and sediment, this underground water might subsequently surface as natural springs or flow into rivers. Floods bring erosion and deposition of soils and can determine considerably the shape of the floodplain, the depth and composition of soils, the type and density of vegetation, the presence and extent of wetlands, richness, and diversity of wildlife, and the depth of groundwater. Negative Effects of Flooding Floods can damage built infrastructure, it is very powerful. Whether it comes from a river overflow or a dam break, floods can destroy everything along the way. They inundate houses, buildings, and bridges and damage property. They can initiate fires leading to explosions. They damage drainage systems, especially sewage networks, waste matter spills leading to pollution, or they contaminate water bodies making the water unfit for drinking. Flooding can kill many people can injure a number of people, or lead to mental health issues. They cause disease outbreaks such as diarrhea and gastroenteritis as water becomes polluted. They destroy crops and farms, so, they disrupt the livelihoods of many communities. Floods and storms knock down power lines. When flood water levels appear to have subsided, electrical currents can travel through any remaining water for more than 100 yards. Floods carry silt raw sewage, oil, or chemical waste, when your well has been flooded, you should assume that the well is contaminated. Floods cause damage and financial losses, they prohibit people from working because they disrupt transportation and communication systems, floods destroy agricultural land, 
and infect livestock with illnesses. Significant losses can occur in regions that depend on seaside tourism and related industries, and floods can damage their properties or possibly stop tourists from going there. Severe flooding incidents can remove a sizable amount of sediment, the steep terrain may result in bank erosion, collapse, or even landslides. Floods can cause algal blooms in lakes, rivers, and oceans. The abundance of nutrients, particularly phosphorus and nitrogen, encourage algae to grow and reproduce quickly. They cover the water's surface, preventing oxygen from entering. As a result, inner living organisms die. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.